Hey, it's your boy BD here, back with another reaction video, and we're gonna react to something from Sunny V2, which is a super popular uh, YouTuber, and this video just popped up in my feed, so I was really intrigued by the title, and it was not a too long video, so I, I was like, okay, let's just react to it and see how it goes. Maybe I do way more reaction videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like them, and let me know what you want me to react to in the future, and this video is called He Went on Joe Rogan and then kill someone 38 days later, so... I don't know, that sounds pretty fucked up, so on let's see what On the 1st of February 2024, this Sheldon year. Johnson appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience. I have no clue who this later, is. He was arrested and charged with murder. It was episode... Oh, March 7th. Oh my god. That's really only like a month. And it was this year, that's kind of fucked up. Although I never heard about this dude and I never watched the Joe Rogan podcast, but I know that it is super popular. 2096 with Joe Rogan, Sheldon Johnson, and another person named Josh Dubin. Josh had been on the podcast six different times before, explaining on an earlier episode that he was a lawyer who worked with wrongfully convicted felons. We're here to get the word out about wrongful convictions. In three out of six of Josh's appearances, he'd- If they are actually wrongfully convicted, like this cool uh, this dude is cool. Uh, like, what could be worse in life? Imagine that you don't commit a crime and then you get convicted and go to prison for something you never did and everyone thinks you did it and you are just there with the thought that you didn't do anything and you know, you know, who knows what else happens in prison, so... Yeah, that really sucks, so... This dude must be a goat for doing that. Bring these wrongful convicts to tell their story. He spent three decades in jail for murders that he didn't commit. So when Josh brought in Sheldon Johnson, it seemed this would be another positive episode, but it quickly became apparent that Sheldon was slightly different. I figured we'd do something a little bit different. Typically, the person sitting to my right is someone that was wrongfully convicted. Sheldon is... It's like... Typically, it's someone that was wrongfully committed. This time, it's a dude that is actually guilty. <laughs> so I bought him. Oh, he's actually gonna say that. That's, uh... What the fuck? Did dude already, like, just from that scene, look like a psychopath, actually, so... Guilty. Sheldon had only just been released from a 25-year prison stint, but Josh had brought him on specifically as an example of someone who'd been given an unfair amount of time, believing Sheldon never deserved... Imagine you're Joe Rogan. Like, maybe the most popular podcaster in the world, and you let the dude come there that uh, was in prison for murder for 25 years and just came out. Although, I believe in the prison system. I don't know much about the US prison system, of course. I heard many bad things about it. But the goal of the prison is for people that had issues, uh, did very, very bad things, and try to change them and get them back to society. It seems like this time it didn't fucking work though, so. ...of his 25 years in prison. Well, you can be the judge of that. Born 1975, Sheldon Johnson grew up in the Martin Luther King Jr. Towers, aka a poverty-stricken housing project in the Google Harlem, Maps. New York City. His entire family tree had been in and out of prisons. My father was incarcerated. He did about 15 years. I was incarcerated. My grandfather was incarcerated. My great-grandfather was a slave. That's a good family. And my son um, killed somebody when he was 12 years old. While Sheldon was the only one- How do you kill somebody at 12, bro? Imagine the family, like, imagine that you are a 12 years old kid who is like super innocent. 12 years olds are literally like little babies. You must be so innocent, you like, just start to explore the beginning of life, you know, and you kill someone, like, just imagine what kind of uh, environment you grew up in if, if you become like that. One in his family who had a functional hearing. My mother's deaf, my father's deaf, my sister's deaf, my aunt is deaf. I grew up in a deaf household. Therefore, his father, a drug what dealer, brought Sheldon along to help him translate deals. And by the age of 12, Sheldon had joined the exact same line of work. I started selling drugs. Guy offered me an opportunity to be a lookout and I would just stand there and eventually I just slowly moved up the ranks. It turned me into 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 this person that i was never meant to be as a you know like uh, i assume like uh, of course i don't know the area but it sounds like it's probably a very rough uh, area like with drug dealers and gangs probably going on so i kind of feel bad for him that he has to do uh, like has to have to deal drugs at a young age uh, but again like 
this family is fucking weird though everyone is deaf everyone is uh either a murderer or uh has been into prison for something probably for drugs or something like that so jesus man result he began to rack up charges driving without a license standing on the corner little small petty drug cases and spent most of his teens in the rikers island prison although it'd oh, be after his island. release at the age of 21 that things went downhill badly he commit two different armed robberies receiving a sentence of 50 years in prison which josh argued was incredibly unfair given only one person received minor injuries he got hit in my opinion, if you go to a store and rob it with a gun, if, if you don't die there and don't get shot, which you probably deserve in my opinion, because uh, of course you're threatening like multi many innocent people. Uh, even if only one person get injured, injured and you don't kill anyone, you don't actually shoot, I think you still should stay in prison for long because uh, you have it in you. You went into somewhere with a gun, you had the intentions, not just to rope, but to threaten people and maybe uh, use your weapon if needed, so. In the head with the gun, right here on the side of his head, and he had two stitches. That's also a murder. 25 years for that case. Did you hit him in the head? No. Regardless, oh, prison no, is no, where Sheldon realized he had to turn his life around. It was at that moment I really said, I have to change my life. I, I just can't do this. Beginning a prison journal about hope, change, and reform. In his entry letter to my younger self, it explained just because you're surrounded by violence does not mean that violence is the way to solve your problems. Sheldon, too wrong. Just because you're surrounded by violence does not mean that violence is the way to solve your problems. See, that that is so true. And uh, I'm glad he came to the conclusion that he has to change. Yeah, I mean, I must be very hard to make this conclusion if all around you, your whole life is surrounded by violence. My voice felt like violence. <laughs> what do not a right. Violence only begets violence. Learn how to respond and not react. In a different entry he'd state, as we know I'm currently in prison, which I've learned as one of two significant things to its occupants. Brings the best out of them or the worst. I saw individuals who were at their worst and I saw guys who were at their best. The guys who were at their best were guys who were involved in education, post-secondary education programs. Realizing the role model prisoners would- See that's what I was talking about uh, in the beginning, that I think prison should help a people that can be still changed especially young people right to get on the right path to get education to learn about the world and maybe change you know because in some cases it's like of course they commit like horrible crimes but it's really their upbringing and they are kind of forced into these situations so uh there's always uh some sort of like duality bit, bit behind like violence and bad people like i don't think anyone is born as a kid to hey i'm gonna be a murderer you know and uh in some cases it's like some mental issues but i think in a lot of cases it's abuse and how they are brought up those with an education sheldon spent years educating himself i got into school i got my ged and then i went on to obtain my bachelor's in behavioral science for mercy i stopped smoking Ooh, weed. Got I, stopped a bachelor. smoking cigarettes. I started working in the law library I, I discovered that i had a knack for complicated things case law and i was actually helping guys get out of prison he'd further add to his journal i have grown dramatically right. in these 14 years cool. when i could have easily withered away i've learned that i love shakespeare that i love acting that i love writing, that I enjoy reading philosophy, that I love reading criminal law, that I love writing legalese. Sheldon. So he kind of reinvented himself in prison and uh, found his real love, right? Maybe like uh, this environment really helps these kind of people that only were only ever lived in a surrounding which was like horrible. Everything was bad, like full of drug dealers, uh, shootings, drugs, robbery, right? And he gets to prison and then he gets education. Maybe some people are nice to them uh, and uh, they experience a whole new world and they can figure out that, hey, this is actually the person I am. I'm not a violent And had changed his life to such an extent, BuzzFeed advocated for his release back in 2016. He became a model inmate, said David Roth, the prison social worker. His days were so full that he went to bed exhausted and <laughs> fell asleep immediately. As a result of his good behavior, Sheldon was released after 25 years of his 50-year sentence, Only 25, appearing babe. on a podcast called Success After Lockdown, on which he'd imply that he'd never go back to prison. 
Nah, nah. I'm reflecting. I'm saying to myself, like, yo, I can't spend the next 50 years like this. When he'd appear on Joe Rogan one month later, Sheldon again implied that he wouldn't go back to jail. Individuals who have been shown to acquire associate's degrees and bachelor's degrees are like 92% less likely to return back to If that is true, that is crazy. So if you get a degree from prison, it's like almost like uh, like eight out of a hundred people that go back to prison, uh, which is really good. So that kind of means that this kind of works, right? The re-education works, but it seems like for him it didn't just from the title, who knows, who knows? But uh, yeah, it kind of gave that away, I think. <laughs> Prison. With Josh using Sheldon as an example, uh, that change was always possible. Example. How do you make change happen? He's living it and making it happen. Sorry to pause so many times, but like, by the way, I don't really watch Sony V2. I heard of him before, of course, but doesn't he speak in like a very peculiar way where every uh, cent uh, every word ends with like, uh, like, bro, spent his life in prison <laughs> like every end of every word is like prolonged like this sorry i, I just i just thought that just came to my head happen look at this beautiful yeah. model and how he articulates himself <laughs> he began working for the queen's defenders helping troubled youth i'm trying to catch these kids before they fall and i want to show them the way and even began to consider more formal education sheldon asked me should i go to law school before we came here in the process expressing his disbelief that he'd turned his life around I just came from the bowels of hell. 25 wow. years in prison, and now I'm in the sky. So I'm 30 now. Just imagine, like, spending basically your whole life in prison. For me, it would be, like, that's actually, like, freaking crazy. It must feel like that's the world, you know? Like, nothing exists outside of it. You may never see anything else. It's it's, it's really, really crazy. Uh, like, we, I don't think we really appreciate how nice it is to have our freedom and uh, be free and just live our lives as we want to do and be able to sit in front of my PC on a Sunday at uh, 8 in the morning and watch a video, you know? Above the clouds in the heavens, headed to a destination to talk about change and to talk about all of the things that brought me to this place today. Joe Rogan even posted a clip titled, Sentenced to 50 Years, Sheldon Johnson decided to turn his life around. However, Sheldon would make one final important claim. But this is how fast your life can change from just one simple mistake. This became... Uh oh it was a premonition for what's gonna happen in a month. He already knew he was gonna kill someone. He didn't change. In reality, only 38 days later. He claimed that he had turned his life around after spending most of his adult life in prison. In fact, last year, he started working for the Queen's Public Defender's Office. Well, now he is accused of killing a man and then dismembering his body. Sheldon was child. Holy. I mean, when you're on the news like this, it's not good, man. But dismembering? Really? Like, I thought maybe if he killed someone, it was like... I mean, okay, there's... Killing is killing, right? Uh, but maybe, like, out of anger in this heated argument, you punch someone and then they die. And then you didn't mean to kill them, but, like, killing them and dismembering them. And then, you know, doing weird stuff with their bodies. Uh, keeping trophies. Uh, it just... Uh, yeah, then he's a psychopath, let's be honest. Childhood friends with a man named Colin Small, with whom he'd also spent over 10 years in prison. Therefore, upon Sheldon's release, Small was helping Johnson get back on his feet. However, at some point, their friendship took a turn. Uh -oh. On the 6th of March 2024, police received a call from a tenant who lived in New York, claiming to have heard two gunshots from Colin Small's apartment, as well as a voice begging, please don't, I have a family. Police drove over to the flat and knocked on the door, only to find Sheldon Sheldon Johnson inside, who claimed that Colin Small had apparently gone upstate. Well, police searched the apartment and found half of- <laughs> Two gunshots, um, uh, voices like, please don't kill me, I have a family, which is actually like from a movie. And then uh, the police comes, um, he left town, there's nothing to see here, it's all good, leave please, thank you.
Colin Small's body, finding the other half back at Sheldon's apartment, oh in addition God. to concrete and a Tyvek suit. CCTV outside Colin's apartment showed Sheldon Johnson entering and exiting, trying to conceal his identity with a range of different disguises. Is he wearing a big, uh, uh, blonde wig? Yeah, it's not obvious. It's like, I mean, you know, it's like definitely not Blitzcrank. It's just a moustache, uh, glasses, like this. Uh, oops. And then... It's not even me anymore, it's like a Superman. <laughs> In one of these stills, he's seen wearing the exact same jacket as he was in a photo he took for the Queen's defenders. Mm. Sheldon was therefore arrested and charged with Never Colin's get caught. murder, screaming I'm innocent as he was placed into the cop car. Sheldon maintained this innocence all the way to court. Yesterday, Sheldon Johnson pleaded not guilty to the charges. He had quite a few supporters inside the courtroom. As the comments on his episode changed overnight. Imagine being locked up for being wronged mm. by the system for over 25 years only to prove that the system was right. Amazing. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I I wonder, like, if he really spent his life, like, so long in prison and he changed and had, like, a new life and people actually believed in him and everything. Why would you do this, man? Like, obviously... Okay, I'm not a judge or a jury, right? I'm, like... But from what this video is showing, there was enough evidence to say that it was definitely him like i mean they had the suit they had uh the body parts he was there uh, they had a connection uh he had the wigs leaving the flat so i mean it's kind of clear right uh but i guess pr uh, innocent till proven guilty still stands but why would you do this it's 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 why? Maybe he wanted to go back to prison. The judge who gave him 50 years must feel pretty smart right now. I really believed I was gonna die in prison. Well, you're not wrong, buddy. Sheldon's own father stated, I'm surprised my son was arrested. I was shocked. He learned and studied in prison for 26 years. He is a good man. He was doing work in a law office. Fuck. There were no problems. But I doubt nobody was as shocked as Josh Dubin. He ended Sheldon Johnson's episode stating, I'm very thoughtful in who I bring on. I think this was one of the best ones. This was an oopsie. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, even if you have the best intentions and you want to prove a point and show something, it just really, really backfires. Uh, so... Yet. but is still yet to talk publicly uh, since Sheldon's new allegations. Joe, on the other hand, talked about it recently. He was guilty before, and we knew he was guilty, but he got 50 years. Right. And then he was talking about how he turned his life around and this, like a month after he was on the podcast. Yeah. Cut some dude's head off. The homie didn't understand he new cut the head off? HD security <laughs> cameras. Theorizing that prison had oh, only shit. made him worse. Was that because he spent 25 fucking years in jail, which is an insane amount of time to yeah. be locked up in a prison, and then expect to acclimate that's right actually like maybe he actually didn't know that there's like crazy security cameras for the police it's very easy to figure you out now actually if you commit a crime like they literally see where you walk on the street where you went and everything so it's really fucked up of course uh I don't know if this case has been closed, closed since or what, but uh, there seems to be overwhelming evidence but I still want to believe in the prison system and like when a person is uh, admitted like not wrongfully, obviously, like I think in most cases it's like rightfully, right? Because they usually try to make sure you actually did something if you go to prison. And in some very rare cases, which is super fucked up, you go there where you haven't done anything. But I do believe that it has a good reason to try to re-educate people and get them back into society. And <clears throat> sorry, I can uh, my voice. And in some cases it's, Hopefully not too late. Maybe in this case it was too late. Let me know in the comments what you thought, uh, what I should watch next. Is he right? Is he wrong? Did he commit the crime? Did he not? And make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!